And this is a very nice condition box. Actually, it sounds like there's something in there, so I'll have a look in a minute. Hello, it's Dave at VTR. I'm back in the post room, and today we have two parcels from LVT, otherwise known as Leicester Vintage and Old Toy Shop. Now, I'm sure you've heard of these guys. They are a toy shop based in the UK. They're also running a YouTube series called Toy Shop on Tour. So go check that out if you haven't seen it. They also run a Facebook sales page and these items appeared at too good a price to miss, so I claim them. Ghostman Pat, weapon of choice please. So I've purchased a bundle of Micronauts. These toys were released by Mego in the late 70s and the range consisted of figures, vehicles and play sets. Really cool. And I'm really happy to have this set added to my collection. I've been collecting Micronauts for several years now. Let's start here. This is the Thorium Orbiter, one of the vehicles. Now, in the listing it did say that there were some parts missing, but I can't see what they are. I can see that these fins have snapped off the bottom. I don't know if that happened in transit or whether that was already the case, but it doesn't matter too much because I already have one of these, a complete one. What I really wanted was the box and the instructions. One of the nice features of Micronauts is that all the pieces are interchangeable so you can detach them and then use your imagination to build whatever you like, a little bit like Lego. Now this vehicle has a die cast body, these kind of rocket boosters on the side. If you look, there's a mirror here, angled at uh, 45 degrees. So it acts as a periscope. So when you look down the end of the engine here, you'll see the reflection through that 45 degree mirror. So you can look over walls, etc. Pretty cool. Although I said Micronauts were released by Mego, we've got an Airfix label here. So I think Airfix were the distributor in the UK. This vehicle does look like it came with a figure but I don't have this particular figure. I do have others, which I'll talk about in a minute. But just looking at the picture here and the actual vehicle itself, they're quite different. The body's a different color and the picture's missing that black nose cone. Hmm, strange. Let's have a look on the back here. You can see some of the other vehicles and play sets that Micronauts provided. Really awesome. There's Biotron, I have that in the collection. Uh, the Astro Station and lots of other smaller vehicles and figures as well. This is just such an amazing line. Now we also have the instructions, which is always very nice to have. In fact, uh, this one's now distributed by Amigo Corp. It looks like I have two of these. This one, yeah, distributed by FX. So it looks like I have both the US and uh, UK instructions, but that's cool to have a complete thorium orbiter. Moving on, we also have a neon orbiter. This is such a cool vehicle. Basically, it's, I guess, based on your sort of Harley trike. Very, very nice. Again, all the parts are detachable and interchangeable with other vehicles, so you can build whatever you like. Again, this one's got a die cast body. And you can see we have a rider here. This figure is actually a time traveler. And I've got a few others in the bundle as well. Let's just take a quick look. They came in different colors. So you have a transparent clear one, a blue one, the yellow one that we've got down there, and it's also an orange one. I have all of these already in the collection. In fact, this is one of the few figures in the collection room, which I can really say I'm army building. I didn't mean to, but they just kind of come into my possession. I think with these, I've got about 15 of them now, but they're really cool figures. They're O-ring construction, uh, lots of articulation. The joints do get loose over time. Don't forget these are actually pretty old now. 
the knee joints are plastic, so there's not a lot you can do about that. But they do have other metal riveted joints as well. So if they come loose, there is a trick to getting those restored and tight again, which I may show in a future video. Now these figures are notoriously bad for standing up for display purposes. They do have holes in the bottom of the feet, and it just so happens that the diameter of that hole matches exactly the Lego peg. So if you take the base stands from a Lego minifig, you can use them for Micronauts, Time Travelers, and probably other Micronauts figures as well. So that's really cool. There you go, now he's standing up. Looks like he's been in the wars, he's got a snapped ankle, that's quite common, but I'll just get a new leg and then he'll be as good as gold. Now we also have the box for the Neon Orbiter. Let's just take a quick look. There we go, die-cast vehicle, again, distributed by Airfix. Figure included, but I don't have that particular figure. Also says here, freewheeling, no batteries needed. And the back here shows the same picture as the Thorium Orbiter. But it's nice to have the box as well. Even though these vehicles are fairly small, they do come with quite a lot of parts. Adds to the playability. Very cool. And then finally, we have this small yellow vehicle here. Although it's small, it's one of my favorites. It is the Ultronic Scooter. It's a mix between, well, a Harley trike and the Mobility Scooter. Uh, it's in nice condition though. Quite often, these handlebars are snapped, but this has survived 40 years or so. It has a wind-up motor, which you can activate by the engine on the back here. So this is looking really, really nice. If you take a look at the back of the blue Time Traveler, it has a peg in there, which is detachable. It's really nice to have these because it allows you to fix your figures into either your vehicles, your play sets in a secure way. And you don't often see these, so it's nice to have another one. Now I also have the box for the Ultronic scooter. And this is a very nice condition box. Actually, it sounds like there's something in there, so I'll have a look in a minute. Now this is an Airfix, so I'm not sure what that logo is manufactured exclusively for Lion Rock Limited. Now, that name is familiar. I believe they produced those military figures and they were pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we can see on the back, we've got a blueprint. Let's see what's in this box. I'm just gonna open it at this end. Oh, it looks like we have the inner card as well. That's very nice. And what's in here? Ah, <laughs> it's another time traveler. Awesome. Oh, and maybe a sticker sheet as well. Let's have a look. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Sticker sheet for the Ultronic scooter. Very nice. And it's another yellow time traveler and he's in nice condition too. Ah, fantastic. And finally we have some leaflets, which I assume came originally in those boxes. And these are always cool because they give you an insight into what else was available in the range. And there is so much in Micronauts and a lot of it is quite wacky too. Very, very nice. Oh uh, yes. Looks like we have a different leaflet here as well. The interchangeable world of Micronauts. Ah oh, yes, look at these. I love these figures, these alien figures. I recently got Antron. I would love to have Membros and Repto, but they are so expensive, so, so expensive. Yeah, there's some great stuff here. And then we can see some of the other vehicles. Very nice. What's on the back? Oh yeah, <laughs> some of the playsets. These playsets are just madness, they're huge. Oh, I'm really happy with this bundle of Micronauts. Thanks Joe for listing them at what I think are a very reasonable price. We have the Neon Orbiter, an awesome trike, the Thorium Orbiter, looking magnificent there, and the Ultronic Scooter. And I think we'll leave it to this time traveler to have the last word. Till next time. Thanks for making it this far. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe, or try some of these other VTR classics. Until next time, stay safe and cheers.